Hello guys and welcome, it is that SRB2 dude here today, bringing you yet another episode of the Splatoon Competitive Guide. Today we are going to be going through the Flounder Heights callouts and everything you really need to know about this map. Uh, there's a lot of callouts for this map, so it's, you know it might be a little bit tricky to catch on, but if you listen and just watch the video and you know take take it step by step, I guess you know you should be able to get everything in your head. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are in Flounder Heights, and this is the first callout that I'm going to mention to you guys. This area, this whole area that I'm painting, is known as Sneaky. We call it that mainly because it's a sneaky way to get into your opponent's spawn. And it's also a great route of actually bringing the Rainmaker. As you can see, the pedestal is right there. You just have to swim just a little bit and then you just jump on the pedestal to finish the job. Right next to Sneaky, you may notice this mattress. And this is actually a sniping spot. And this specific part is known as mattress. Uh, you don't have to specifically be on the mattress. You can just be around it. You can just call out Whoever is there, they're at Mattress, everyone should know because there's a Mattress right there. It is a defensive sniping position and it's great for peak shotting. Now this area is known as Long and it's called that mainly because it's the longer way to get into your opponent's or Actually no, just a longer way to actually get into the, the main area of Flounder Heights. Uh, it's not really called out too much because once you've actually, once someone's here, you usually call out where they're actually going to next. I'm actually going to tell you guys those callouts sooner or later. Now this area is known as Snipe and this is the in, this entire area is known as Snipe. And uh, there are, what's it called? There are actually two AC units right next, right onto the Snipe. So if you really want to be specific, you can say someone is on the right AC or the left AC on their Snipe or such. And um, as you can see, I'm standing on one of the ACs right there. So this is the left AC and this is the right AC. So... If you really want to be specific, it's it's definitely really good for like knowing where exactly the sniper is going to be because this is where you're going to always usually find the sniper. Now this area right here is known as spawn or RM pedestal, uh, however you want to call it. It's not it's never ever usually called out if unless someone is actually hiding here because usually when somebody is here they usually move to another specific position. So you could just say, hey, someone's moving to the this specific position. This area is known as Street. It's the entire area, this long street right here where I'm painting around. And, uh, you know, it's uh, you, you can find a lot of different areas here. A lot of long range weapons do excel around here. Even the E-Leader as well. Now, there's a lot of callouts also attached to Street. And as you can see, this area right here is known as Pit. Mainly because the little area above it a lot of squids or a lot of people like to fall down into this little area. So we make sure we have a call out for this little area as well, just so we know that they're falling into the specific part. As well, attached to this street, you got a tree, and we also mentioned this as well, mainly because there's one tree on each side, so it's easy to remember where tree is. Uh, it's attached to the street, so if it's someone's near the street, you can say someone's on their street near their tree or something. Now this area right here is known as main ramp. Uh, you can be specific with it. You can say the first ramp, like the bigger ramp is called ramp one, or you can say the second ramp is ramp two if you want to be really specific with it. But we usually all just call it main ramp because we can, we can kind of tell if somebody's there because of course they'll be probably moving around unless they are sharking which sometimes does happen but you know if someone's called out main ramp we're gonna suppress it anyway so if someone is there and we've suppressed it uh, we can expect them to pop up as well this area is known as roof now your roof there's two roofs by the way your roof is on the left side all the time their roof is on the right side all the time so just so you, it, that doesn't confuse you, remember that your roof is on the left and their roof is on the right. Now here, right here is another callout connected with uh, your roof. And it's also connected to Sneaky as well, but specifically I call it stairs, mainly because you know, you got the great stair and then you got another platform and then you got the roof platform. So it's just like, a, you know, a set of stairs right there. Um, it's also a really helpful callout because you can expect a lot of people going up this specific route. And it's also just to be more specific about certain positions on the map. Now right here is obvious, this 
area is known as zone. And of course, there are two zones. Your zone's on the left, and their zone is on the right side of the map. Uh, this zone uh, it, it includes, of course, the zone area, and it also includes the little, like, ledge box area right here. Uh, I'm going to stand on it right here. See, this part is also connected to the zone, so you make sure uh, you remember that too. Now, right next to the zone is another area. This area is known as Ark. And you'd call it that because it's just like a little arc that's on uh, the like little buildings in Flounder Heights. And um, we, I usually do call this out a lot because mainly a lot of people do sh tend to shark around this area. So uh, if somebody is on their arc, I or somebody calls out to me there is they're on their arc, I usually like to suppress it just so I know that no one's there anymore. Or basically just to spook them out, basically. Well, now this area is known as trench and this is the call out that I was talking about where people tend to fall down into their pit. Uh, of course it's just like another call out so we know where the specific person is actually heading towards. If they fall into their pit then of course they're going to go somewhere into their street or they might actually climb back up one of the walls. Uh, the walls have call outs by the way so I'm going to go into that really soon. But trench, uh, your, there's your side of their trench and their side of the trench or just trench which is right in the middle. Uh, your side is just the, tr the closest side basically. It's basically not under the middle platform. So um, and their side is on the other side of course. So as I was saying before, there are call outs that are connected to specific parts of the map. This part is known as Zone Wall, of course, because if you climb up this wall, you're going to head to their zone. I'm pretty sure that you guys can actually figure out all the types of wall callouts for yourselves, but I'm going to help you out with this anyway. Now, this area is known as Left Arc Wall, and you call it Left Arc Wall because, of course, it's on the left. To be more specific, there are four of them. There's one on your left and your right, and one on their left and their right. It's it, it's complicated, I know. There are a lot of callouts for this map. Now, here is another callout that I'm going to mention to you guys, and I really want you guys to understand this one. Now, this side, of course, it's on the right, so it is going to include their roof wall. Now, your roof wall is on the other side of the map. You can't necessarily climb it unless you're on the, the your opponent's side of the map but your roof wall is always on the left and their roof wall is on the right. Now, you don't normally have to say, oh, somebody's on the roof wall or something like that. You can also just say somebody is coming up to their roof or your roof or something like that. So you just need to, you know, kind of remember that te terminology. Now, this is another wall coming up to their zone or your zone. Of course, there's two sides of this. Uh, the sign I'm on is on the opposite side, which is uh, the opponent's side, so they'll be coming up to your zone wall. Um, it's really, really confusing, I know. You can just say, just to like make it so much easier for yourselves, you can just say somebody is coming up to this specific point. Instead of trying to be really, really technical with it and saying they're coming from this specific wall, you can just say they're coming up to this, this specific point on this side. So. Just so it doesn't like overwhelm you guys. This is another way you can actually call out. And last but not least, this is known as trench wall. And of course, this wasn't this one actually doesn't get called out too much. You could just say that someone's coming up to their trench or your trench. So um, you know, if you want to if you want to have this call out in your vocab or just your brain, you know, this is here for you. And I'm pretty sure that is pretty much all the terminology and all the callouts that I can actually mention to you guys. Of course, the area right now I'm standing on is mid, so I mean, of course, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's top mid. Top mid is pretty easy to remember. But anyways, this is all the callouts that I've kind of created for myself and for you guys to actually remember. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as well. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. And as always, guys, this has been that SRB2 dude, and I shall see you guys in a future video.